I mean, would you fly economy ever again after an experience like this? Today is a travel day for us. We are going to Namibia today, so I'm pretty nervous actually. <laughs> I've been telling Sadiq all day, like I'm just so nervous, only because I've never flown this long. It's a 12 hour flight, and then an eight hour flight, and then a two hour flight. The flight will be fine. We have seats that lay down, so we can just take a nap the whole flight. We got books, we got iPads and phones, and I've done this flight throughout my life with no phone, no nothing, just having to draw the whole time, so. And I was in economy on all of those flights, in the middle seat, sometimes with the little kid kicking the back of my seat for most of the flight, so. I'm gonna be real positive about today. I think it's gonna go real well. We leave tonight, right now it's Monday, so we leave, our flight leaves tonight at eight. We'll land in Qatar at 8 a.m. our time tomorrow. We spend four hours in Qatar, leave 12 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, get to South Africa at 8 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, chill there for five hours, and then two hour flight. So long story short, we are gonna leave Monday night in America and we'll be there Wednesday morning in South Africa. <laughs> well, in Namibia. We have 50 11 bags, <laughs> so. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it all goes well with weight limits. Yeah, I've never flown with this many bags before, but ever since the pandemic, I'm a little, or like we're a little paranoid about stowaways because there is times when people would fly to Europe and would never see their bag ever again. So uh, one of my coworkers told me to just put an air tag in our stowaway, so we have air tags in all of our stowaways. So. I don't have any anxiety about those getting lost. See y'all at the airport. Here at the airport, just vibing. We just ate. Been a breeze so far. Check-in was pretty easy. Yeah, we're waiting to board our flight. I think we board in about an hour. So I'm excited. I'm still a little nervous, but I think our flight is gonna be smooth. I think we're gonna have fun too. I think they give us PJs. Just give me my minutes. All right, so this is what our Q suite looked like in Qatar Airways. Sadiq and I were sitting next to each other, which was cool. As you can see, we get a lot of space and a lot of leg room. I even had to scoot down and I still had more leg room. And this is what the console looks like to control the TV and they give you space for your laptop and other items. We also got a blanket and some pajamas, which I was so excited about. They also have an extensive wine menu and on the back of this menu is a cocktail list, but you can also create your own cocktails, which is pretty cool. And for their menu, we had dinner and breakfast, which they had a lot of varieties and even vegan options, which was awesome. And you know, we had a max out and you get all the food we could get. And our flight was about 12 hours and 31 minutes. And as you can see, Sadiq is excited about all his wine. And they also gave us their signature drink, which was a lime and mint drink that was amazing. So boom, here I am describing how I'll never fly economy again. They whipped out the white sheet for the dinner, popped out the bread, the candlelight, multiple glasses they started serving up them appetizers here go talia she like a fish with the sparkling water and then we started smacking down on that bread i ain't gonna lie that shit was pretty good nice and warm everything that they brought out was like hot plate sort of vibe um mad balsamic vinegar with the olive oil like we had an italian spot here go the gold plated appetizers to match the nails I'm going crazy with the wine. Definitely like the 15th glass I had. And then they started bringing out the main courses with the salmons and the mashed potatoes with the steaks and the, yeah, they, they was going pretty crazy, I ain't gonna lie. And each flight had its own menu. So 
we was eating different stuff on each flight. Um, me and Talia kind of went crazy with it. And you can kind of order unlimited stuff. So as much as you want to eat is as much as they'll bring out to you. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we was enjoying some documentaries the whole flight. And then at the end, they bring you mints and chocolates. Those were pretty gourmet. And then we landed at Qatar where we saw a cause statue, 10 meter cause installation. That was a huge surprise because we did not expect to see that. We just happened to walk past it. And here's us going crazy over that joint for about 15 minutes. The airport was really nice. They had waterfall walls all over the place. Um, mad stores that were like high, high end luxury, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Montclair. I mean, it was kind of ridiculous. They also had an indoor garden, which was like three stories high, which was amazing. You know, I was in heaven. I was seeing plants that I asked Sadiq, we should get this in the house. We should get this in the house. So it was pretty cool getting off a plane and being able to see all this greenery. Then we went to a random coffee shop and they had this honey cake, which was phenomenal. And I got a Turkish coffee and the silverware was so beautiful. And the Turkish coffee with the honey cake was slapping. And I think Sadiq got a hazelnut latte and they had some pretty good latte art on the top. So, you know, always got to shout out some good latte art. We just had some of the best cake and coffee we've had possibly ever, no cap. So we got Turkish coffee and I had a hazelnut latte. And let me just say, I don't understand why we still live in America, to be honest. Talia has been asking me, why do we still live in America? Why do we still live in America? And mind you, we ain't even been that many places, but it's like every place just seems, like not to shit on where we live, but God damn, it's, a, it's incredible here. I would have paid two hundred dollars for what we just ate. I would have paid two hundred. It was a thirty. It was thirty dollars. I would have paid two hundred for that. It was thirty US for, for. Yeah, it was thirty for that. All I have to say is, W, coffee, W cake. That cake was. It blew my mind. I don't even know what type of cake it was. It was moist yet a little crunchy yet. I don't even know what flavors they had. It was amazing. Also, look at the restaurant. It's so nice. Awesome. I want to highlight the silverware. This cup is beautiful. This plate, beautiful. <laughs> also, you didn't notice, it matches my nail. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. W country. W's in the shot. W's in the shot. Also, that was my second coffee of the day, and that may have been the strongest coffee I've ever had. So we're finna go walk around. We got about an hour and 30 minutes before we board our second flight. I'm not gonna lie, that flight I just took felt more like a spa session than a flight. Like, that's how good it was. No cap. W's in the shot for Qatar Airways. W's in the shot. And yeah, Qatar airport was extremely impressive. We loved spending time there. It was really fun. Had to hop on a bus to get to the next flight where we hopped into business class and it was a little different because they didn't have a Q suite. It was a little bit of a shorter flight, about nine hours. So here we are getting comfortable, drinking champagne, drinking our mint drinks, uh, just settling in a bit. Same thing as the last flight, lots of wine, lots of food. They gave us pajamas, they gave us blankets. Um, and when you're ready to sleep, they even put a mattress down on your bed, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, here's the meals. Everything was different from the last flight because again, we get the custom menu on each flight. Um, the desserts were absolutely smacking. Here goes to this, smacking down on our dessert and we get refreshing towels after every meal. Yeah, it was really impressive. Very comfortable, more chocolates, and it was a super enjoyable ride. No complaints, 10 out of 10. W's in the shots. <laughs>